get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. No monkey. Dude and do that. Say what up. It's your boy Dude Mungus. What do we see here today? Y'all know I'm a cowboy at heart. Today we have Dead Gum Anubis with us today. Hitman is back in the game. I'm holding this bike, uh, testing it out, getting uh, some setup stuff right. Uh, it's 100% stock right now, except for no the slip on work exhaust. It is also a bike night uh, up in Conyers at Mountain Motorsports. So, uh, Let's go ahead and test this bad boy out and see how it does, but I know what you guys want to hear. Oh yeah. It's not a cold start, but uh, heck yeah, man. We gave the bike a little wipe down to get it on the scrum diddly. Uh, I promise this bike seems like it's shooting off flames everywhere. So we're going to test it out tonight and see how it does. But uh, I'll take you guys along with me as much as I can. Y'all know how I like to do. Hey, y'all keep rocking with your boy. You know what it is. One shot, death shot, two mongus. And like I said, this bike is stock. It's mixed stockity stock can get. But we already got parts on the way. Well, at least parts are in the cart. <laughs> this is going to be a daggum stock wheelbase setup. Oh, and it sounds good. I love Kawasaki's, bro. Absolutely love Kawasaki's. <laughs> no, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not an auto flipper. <laughs> that is the Duke Buckets 3000. That is that smooth and that daggum crisp. Heck yeah, man. Woo! Man, it is just like I say about any bike. The first time I jump on any other bike other than Deadshot, I'm like, holy crap, this thing is daggum wide. <laughs> Dang, this thing is daggum wide. Heck yeah, but man, it feels good though. It feels good. What are you, what are, what are you doing? Yeah, I'll be glad when, uh, I'll be glad my people in Georgia learn how to drive. It's nothing like my people in Tennessee. <laughs> it's heck, man. But this bike, 2017 Kawasaki ZX-10, 1,400 miles on it. This is essentially a brand new bike, man. I love the agileness of this bike, man. I was telling Hitman, I was like, man, it rolls so easily. It makes you think that there's a uh, ceramic bearings in here. Let me can't trust. Let's go and get a little hit. <laughs> okay, Anubis. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hear you popping off. Oh, yeah. We shooting flames at night. I got my 360 cam. We are definitely going to record this. So, guys, it's been a long time since I've been on a Kawasaki. Uh, some differences I can tell from Deadshot. It seems like the pegs are a little bit higher than what they are on Deadshot. Um, but it's still comfortable for me. It doesn't make me feel any less comfortable because for you guys that don't know, most of the test riders for these sport bikes, they're kind of my size. They're just, they just, they're just a little bit lighter than what I am, but they're kind of my size. They're, they're 5'5", five, five, you know, to 5'8", at the tallest, you know, and they're probably like 160, 175 pounds. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, I'm riding in the ballpark. I'm five, six and a half. So I'm riding the ballpark. So a lot of these bikes, people are like, oh, it's cramped. I'm like, man, I feel, I feel great. <laughs> I feel perfectly fine. All right, dude, and do that. I know sitting in traffic is not fun, but y'all know how I do reviews, man. And if I feel something, I tell you about it. But bro, I have to admit, it is insane how manageable <laughs> these inline fours are in traffic. Like they're like, dude, Deadshot is hucking and bucking right now. Deadshot is livid at me right now. He's like, bro, just take me home. If you gonna be doing all this. <laughs> I thought you said we was going to ride. But holy crap, these cows, man. And I'm assuming it's all in my force. Holy crap, they're so manageable in traffic. Dude, it's freaking amazing. And even though the temperature is saying 204, so obviously I've been sitting in traffic. Dude, it feels amazing. I don't, I mean, I don't feel like it's chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I mean, I feel great. <laughs> Pros and cons, but man, yeah, I'm definitely a pro of an inline four is how manageable it is at low speeds. Holy crap, man. I just noticed something about this bike that I've never seen on any other bike, and I kind of don't know why they have it, but this bike has an eco mode. <laughs> so, if you notice on the dash, you'll see this little triangle looking thing. It says eco. So I'm chilling six gear, doing nothing. Eco's on. If I twist the throttle, it goes away. 
I let it go on the throttle and it comes back. <laughs> There's the eco mode on the ZX-10. Uh, for those of you who want to be mindful of your fuel when you're running MR12, definitely pay attention to this until you get to where you need to go to. Dang it, my jacket just came open. Ah, I am failing today. Failing today. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Lord, I know you protected me from something up the road. Goodness gracious. All right. I mean, I guess since we're on the side of the road, we got to make sure we get back up to uh, highway speed at a decent pace, you know, uh, so, you know, we can go with the flow of traffic. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Very nice Anubis. Very nice. Ergonomics on this bike, I think for a taller rider, probably might be cramped. And I think they said on the, the newer Gen 6 ZX10s, they made more room for taller riders. Like, I feel comfortable, but I think any taller than me, you're definitely going to be cramped. What do y'all think about this exhaust note for a slip-on? And I have to admit, I am very impressed <laughs> with this bike just to have a slip-on. That pickup, you know, from like 7,000 to around like, you know, 10, 5, 11, it's pretty daggum decent. It's not blowing your doors off, but it's pretty daggum decent. So if you think I got that and then you can unlock that to be, you know, even more, that's going to be pretty daggum stout, bro. 90-something miles an hour. What do y'all think about the exhaust? Is it droning? How does this audio sound, too? Because I'm always curious. Deadshot has the hardest time getting clean audio motorcycle how to wheel because of that van demon exhaust and it's not like obnoxious loud it's just it just has a throaty something about the frequency of it makes it it just interferes with my mic bro now this exhaust actually seems louder than my van demon but i feel like the audio is gonna pick up better anytime i jump on a different bike other than a ducati my audio is like the cleanest thing in the world six gear roll on there's enough power to get there. You can tell it needs to be unlocked because it took a while to wind up, but you know, once it's unlocked, you'll be able to get there. And that's not full power. That wasn't uh, full throttle either. So this is six gear. That's full throttle. You know, it ain't gonna blow your doors off, but it's definitely enough to, uh, to get you out the way. Uh, until it's unlocked, I would definitely probably downshift to make sure I get out the way uh, in time. And then, I don't know if I told you guys, they're actually doing a bike giveaway today, uh, which I entered into the raffle to win this bike. Uh, y'all, hey, y'all, 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 y'all root for your boy to win this bike, man. I need a track bike. It's a Jixxer 600. Yeah, man, I want this 600 for uh, like a dedicated track bike. Guys, I am so torn on what to do. Uh, a new bike is definitely coming very soon. I'm just battling with like, do I want to do a track bike or do I want to sell dead shot? Which I've been hitting at that a little bit and most of everyone's like, yo, don't sell dead shot. So I think I'm taking it, I think I'm taking selling the selling of dead shot out the picture. But it's just like, yo, what am I gonna get? Everyone has such a good bike, bro. And when I tell you this is this is one of the hardest decisions, bro. It is it is hard. Oh no, everyone has a good bike. All of them have pros and cons, and they're like equal. I'm just like, dead gummy, man. I don't know, bro. Y'all drop some suggestions down below. Because I'm thinking like if I get a, a new bike that's like a leader bike, I'll turn dead shot into like, like an 80-20 track bike, maybe? You know, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I will admit something with this quick shifter. And uh, normal driving, it's really not that bad. You only feel it lag when you're like 100% in the throttle road race mode. Then you feel like, oh my God, it's lagging. But when you're normal driving, bro, it's actually pretty daggum stout. <laughs> Did y'all hear that dude like it's 3,000? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, one more time, guys, one more time. <laughs> oh my god, the camera didn't even move. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, that is that dude might get 3,000 be hidden. Get him while it's hot. Got tell him, man. He been trying to tell y'all. Y'all ain't been listening, bro. It's bro, I'm telling you, bro. Get it while it's hot. Oh man. 
I thought I might have got spoiled with my auto blip and stuff on that shot, but no, oh. The dude mug is 3000 still works, baby. <laughs> Not margin for butter, baby. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, man, I be having too much fun out here riding, bro. I just enjoy riding, bro. It's just fun, bro. You're not gonna find me in a bad mood on two wheels, bro. It's just not gonna happen. And I, well, this ain't gonna be no surprise to nobody. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I should have turned on my GPS far left, and I did it. I just know it's off of exit 80 on 20 East, I think. This is my thing, right? I've been around Georgia quite a bit. Uh, so I know if you say, hey, this area, I'm like, okay, I know how to get over there. But to give you directions, eh, you know. Like, hey, you see that McDonald's right there? Make a left. Do you see that Arby's? Make a left. Do you see that, that Chili's right there? Make a right. You know, I, I got food landmarks. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to sneak in one hit. I've been wanting to do a hit, but I'm not 100% familiar with this area, so I couldn't do it. completely stopped. I can't wait till this thing is unlocked. Ah, it is going to be a beast. You hear all that gurgling going on back there? Ah! <laughs> My next bike got a snap, crackle, pop. My next bike got to have the Rice Krispies. It has to mess with the Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, and pop, baby. Snap, crackle, and pop. Now the tires that's on here are some battle axes I don't like. But I will admit, one thing Cal we got right is, holy, am I recording still? Okay, one thing Cal we got right is this bike is super stable. Holy crap. Like it is planted. A planted bike is a confidence inspiring bike because it ain't moving, it ain't shifting, it ain't shimmying on you. Now I will admit, like I said, the bike has 1,400 miles on it. It's 2017. These tires, it might be the original tires. I'm assuming they're pretty old. They just, the thing with the tires is the tires aren't giving me much feedback. All right, guys, this is gonna be a bike night at Mountain Motorsports Conyers. Dude, this, I haven't been on a bike night in a long time. Look where we going. She got the biker squad over there. Got the, I got the biker boys over there. Got the biker boys over there. What's going on? I see my girl there. I bet she ain't gonna recognize me not being on uh, not being on this shot. Good. Right on what's going on, fellas? What's going on? What's going on? What's up? 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 I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm gonna just park over here in the cut. All right, guys, we gonna walk around and see what we got going on. Let me get uh, let me get unsuited because it is daggum hot. All right, dude and do that. We are up here. JD, J Bug, this is just for you. I know you're gonna appreciate this. Atlanta Falcons, Falcon ready. I know how you are. R6 with the carbon fiber. Got one of the new gen R6, the leather gen, new gen R6. Oh, and another, man, is this the R6 crew up in here? Looking clean, man. Got the Concord. Got Anubis over here looking clean. All right, let's go find Tip, because uh, I know Tip is over here. She didn't even know I was coming. That M4 look good on this uh, ZX-14. Love this colorway. Hey, what up? What it do? Get this on my damn finger. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Good, good, good. Uh, I actually, I'm on my cousin bike today. He just got that ZX-10. Yeah, that's my cousin bike. Hitman is back, back in the game. What you want, man? Woo! Clean. Love these tires, man. Nah, man, it's clean, though, bro. Clean, bro. Free and clear. 
tell everybody for next year, this is a real deal. This is not no scam. The bike is won by LD, y'all. Let's go. Okay. So, we about to start this burn off contest. So, give us away $300 to
All the way. Okay, dude and dudettes, so we're about to get out of here, man. Uh, bike night was a success. We've been enjoying uh, Anubis. Dude, it's crazy, man. I got the camera. I promise this bike is shooting flames. We go test it out on the way home. Uh, shouldn't be no traffic, so we should get some good, uh, some good tunnel shots. We'll come through Atlanta. But uh, yeah, man, let's dig them. Get the rolling, man. Woo! All right, my guy. Be easy, bro. I appreciate you, man. But look, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. You know what it is. One shot, dead shot. Two bungus. No one Georgia Two Wheel Nation as well for throwing this event. They are a group that's on Facebook. It gets a lot of uh, Georgia riders together for a good time, good vibes, bro. Huge shout out to them. Huge shout out to Tip. Yo, I appreciate you do that. Hey, man. Always appreciate the love. Always appreciate the invite. Always a good time with Tip, man. Always a good time with Tip. She's always doing something positive in the community. Also, if you need like some air pressure or some custom work done, Man, definitely holler at your girl, man. She'll she, she hook you up. Tell her dude monkey sent you over. <laughs>